What happened to Jake Lloyd, the actor who played nine-year-old Anakin Skywalker in 1999's The Phantom Menace? Well, first of all, here's some background. Jake was born in Fort Collins, Colorado, USA in 1989. His acting career began in 1996, playing Jimmy Sweet in four episodes of ER. The role of Jamie Langston in Jingle All The Way followed before his big break came. The biggest of all breaks. And something that would ultimately break his career in the wrong way. Jake was chosen by George George Lucas out of 3,000 child actors to play future Darth mofo Vader Anakin Skywalker. It's no secret that the film was not critically well received by actual critics and randoms in the street. Thumbs way down. Some of which was directed at the then 10-year-old Jake. Yeah, really. Despite this, Jake won the Young Artist Award for Best Supporting Actor, and he reprised his role as Anakin in a number of Star Wars video games. His contribution to Star Wars Racer Revenge would be his last role as a professional actor. He officially retired in 2001, and years later would cite the intense bullying he received from Star Wars as the reason. Lloyd stayed out of the public spotlight throughout his 20s, aside from the occasional convention appearance. And according to Screen Rant, he moved to Chicago, where he studied film and psychology, but reportedly dropped out after one semester. And in June 2015, he made headlines after being arrested for reckless driving, driving without a license, and resisting arrest. Reports claim that police pursued Lloyd for 40 kilometers after the former actor failed to stop at a red light in South Carolina. Eventually, Lloyd lost control of his vehicle and crashed into a fence. He was imprisoned until April 2016 and was transferred to a psychiatric facility following a diagnosis of schizophrenia. But the difficulties didn't stop there. After his arrest, reports emerged that Lloyd had allegedly verbally and physically assaulted his mom, Lisa Lloyd. Police did respond to the alleged assault, with Lloyd's mother declining to press charges as he wasn't on his medication at the time. In 2018, his sister Madison sadly died in her sleep at the age of just 26, which understandably was described as shattering by the family. Lisa Lloyd released a statement in January 2020 about the then 31-year-old's well-being. The statement confirmed that Jake has been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, along with a symptom called anosognosia. She added that he's moved closer to his family and despite his continued struggles, remains a kind and caring person who they hope to have back to his fun and entertaining self soon. It's of course impossible to say that Jake Lloyd's Star Wars experience was directly responsible for his subsequent troubles. But clearly, being a child star is a challenging upbringing that can leave some traumatized. Personally, I wish him all of the best and for a speedy recovery. And hopefully the movie industry, media and fans can learn from his experience. You will watch this video next.